at J.C. Brunk Pan, and uh, there is more on top of this termite mound. So many dwarf mongoose, a beautiful family, absolutely large, and you'll see at least a family's plus minus around about 30 in a family, in a group here. And there's another one just as he, of course, uh, grooming it, uh, itself. And yeah, but yes, mongoose mobbing that side a little bit further towards the pan. That was fantastic. Oh, and he's running up this way. And uh, I'm hoping that we can put this one on the bingo board. So please, if you do confirm it, let me know. Look at them, they're going. Oh, they're so cute. That is amazing. Another smallest insectivorous or smallest carnivore in Southern Africa, of course, mainly eating on little insects, little grubs, beetles, that kind of stuff. But it's also been seen that they go for small little mammals as well, like little scrubby. I've seen the video on that. So if they've got that opportunity, they'll definitely do that. So, yeah, that was fantastic seeing these little dwarf mongoose, little another one. Hanging around here, J.C. Brunk Pan. Oop, just dived into the grass. Of course, it's just like the wild dogs. It's controlled by an alpha male and alpha female. So they are the two that will do the breeding. And they will be the two that will make the decision on when to move to a new den site. Yes! <laughs> All right, thank you everybody. Thank you, and I'm gonna fist pump right there. Bingo! All right, as you can see, it got straight there. B I N G O. Well done, you are. Oh. <laughs> this is fantastic. So, yes, I am so super happy. Definitely a very competitive day today, and uh, I am so so happy that we got that. Well done, Igor. You definitely got some of the uh, eagle eye shots here for the afternoon. So, bingo, bingo. All right, so on top of that, we are going to continue doing it. I'm going to still try to look for a dashing impala and trumpeting elephants. If we can do that, if we can get, imagine, two lines for the evening, it would be even more kind of rewarding at the end of this uh, day. So I think I'm going to try and do that. And it is still, but it's lovely in the shade at the moment. I think uh, I'm just going to spend a little bit more time here, just enjoying the moment here and hoping that we are going to see more little mongoose that is going to be mobbing around here, around JC Brunk Pan. Um, what do you think, Igor? Let's take a look at it more then. But yes, thank you for confirming my, my uh, finds for the afternoon. I really do appreciate it. And that is definitely... As Bingo has definitely caught me quite a bit, but I love this. All right, looks like they are heading now a little bit further west away from JC Brunk Pan. I think they are going to try and go and head over to that side. Okay, let's I think let's go let's head over to Juma's side and let's go see what else we can find. I'm going to head towards Biffleshook Dam, see what's happening there. Or actually, I might. I've still got grooming lines. I might actually head back to the dark uh, black uh, dam males. I think that might be because especially that they were calling last night. And if they were calling last night, um, they will call tonight for sure. And you can imagine those two male lines calling next to the vehicle tonight. I think that would be perfect. So let's do it. Let's head towards those lions. <laughs> well, we're going to continue that side. Let's head over to Ben to see what's happening on his bumble. Well, very well done, Cedric. I know you will play it down, but I know inside you're very, very happy. In fact, I know you won't play it down at all, actually. But uh, congratulations. Team Juma is, is well ahead, and uh, but well played, well played. Uh, we also have some mongoose. I believe your winning sticker was a somewhat tenuous mob of mongoose when you should have had mobbing mongooses, but uh, I suppose we'll let you off. Uh, but we also have some mongoose, some dwarf mongoose as well. One of them was just popping their head out of uh, 
this termite mound. I think they're enjoying this mound is in the shade now. But there's a few of them loitering around on the mound here, scurrying around. We were saying, uh, discussing earlier with lions and leopards and mongoose, this is still a carnivore. It is still a predator, and it is the smallest carnivore in uh, certainly southern Africa, and I would think probably all of Africa. Look at this one sitting rather gracefully there on top of this little chimney from the termite mound. Watching us very carefully. This one's possibly pulled sentry duty and trying to decide whether this big smelly green thing here is a threat or not. Um, I think they've established that we are just mildly irritating uh, instead of an official threat. Or perhaps we are fascinating, who knows. Maybe you can hear everything I'm saying. Imagine, maybe animals do understand us and just can't reply. Certainly, I'm sure certain dogs can. I used to have a, a collie. And I'm sure that collie knew exactly what we were talking about. But I digress. I see a few more flitting around in the grass uh, in the vicinity. So it's coming to the end of the day now. So the mongoose have probably been out and about foraging. They will have had a field day today with lots of beetles and bugs around after the rain. And this is what they will do. They will find a little uh, sleeping area and they will overnight here. They might stay in this area for one or two days and then they will move on uh, around their territory, normally about one square kilometre or so. And they'll move systematically around uh, to ensure that they don't completely decimate an area of uh, food. So they are quite conscientious in that regard, nice sustainable hunters. And then they will be overnighting in this old termite mound here, all those tubes and things which have been exposed now because the termites have moved on. So it's been subjected to some erosion and weathering. It makes the perfect little sort of labyrinth of tunnels for mongoose to stay sheltered from. And as we often know, there's other things that, or as we know, there are often other things living in there with them, those rough scaled plated lizards. We saw one, I think, was it yesterday morning I saw one? I think it was yesterday morning or the day before. And we've seen them sharing holes, mongoose and lizards going down the same hole together. Of course, the other thing you might find in one of these old termite mounds is a snake. Uh, but mongooses and snakes do not get on. I don't know if any of you remember the old story of Ricky Tiki Taylor. Um, and they are incredibly fast. Their reactions are so quick that they will just sort of harass the snake and the snake will strike out and they will keep dodging the strikes and eventually they'll find an opening and normally get in and sort of nip the snake on the back of the neck and incapacitate it. 